Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis at the school. In this video, we're gonna go through some more modern harness techniques and we're gonna go through uh, one, of, one of my favorite techniques, which is uh, Redunda. Redunda is a free movement. So basically it's a continuous motion, it doesn't stop. What we're gonna do is do this in two parts. Part one's gonna be with the sticks and part two without the sticks so you can see how you can apply it to self-defense as well, okay? So we're gonna start off with actually learning the drill. So make sure you've got your sticks handy. Um, those who do not have sticks or are therefore are not on the elite program, don't worry because for the second part, you will be able to benefit from this still, okay? But still, please watch so you can see what the movements are doing. But those who have got their sticks, make sure they're ready, okay? So from here, you've got to have your puños ready, okay? So remember your puños should be the size roughly of your hand. Take your hand away and it's there. But really, when you pick your sticks up, you should be instantaneously grabbing them, you know, where you want them to be. So we're gonna run through how to do the movement, all right? So I want you to start with your sticks on this side. So you're gonna take this stick, put it just above your shoulder, take this one and put it just underneath your arm. Okay, now there's no, there's not really much footwork to this. I mean, you can't, there is the drills we can do, but let's just keep to the hands at the moment, okay? So to start the drill, what we do is we take our top stick and you need to remember that each of these strikes are going to the temple height. Okay, so the first strike goes out, in front of you so that will be equivalent to angle number one if you remember from our, our previous video so we go straight out like this and then what we do is we pull it across to the shoulder okay so the first one is strike out across to your shoulder now the one down here follows the same path line so what it does is it strikes out to the temple and then comes around to the shoulder now the one that's closest to you which is the one you first used then goes out again and it goes underneath this one. So what's happened is you've done the three movements of the redunda and it's put you on the opposite side. So now we start on this end. We go straight out with the top stick. So it goes from there to there. The second one follows it. Third one comes out and under. Another way to think of it is, starting with your top one, is go from shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, straight out and under. And it kind of, if you say it like that, it kind of does it like a little phrase for you, okay? So here we go, read re from shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, out, under. Okay, so we go strike number one, number two, number three, and back. And then you do the drill continuously, making sure that your stick strikes are actually going towards, you know, a target in front of you, okay? We don't want them just swinging off to the side like this. Okay, we wanna make sure everything's on target. So you go one, two, three, back. One, two, three, back. And just do that continuously until you get that motion. I'm gonna do it four times, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's how to do it with the sticks. Stay tuned now for part two where I explain how to do it with the hands. Okay, so now part two of the Redunda drill is to do it with our empty hand. Now, we practice doing it with stick and with empty hand, and it's, it's the same to a lot of the uh, stick movements that we do, actually. Um, it's really important to train with both stick and hand because training with stick gives you the awareness of what could potentially come towards you if some, someone was to swing a blunt weapon towards you. Uh, so that way, when you're training with a partner, you both get used to range, distance, you know, how... Uh, how much of a threat it is and the angles it's coming from. Uh, you then practice with empty hands so you can transition that to empty hand versus a weapon self-defense, which is what this is gonna be used for. So to do this with empty hand, it is very, very similar, very similar to uh, Mr. Martin's parry brush strike principle. Very similar. You just gotta watch carefully how the movements go. But to make it a bit easier, imagine you've still got your sticks in your hands, all right? Take this stick, yeah, and put it on, above this shoulder and put this hand underneath here. Have your hands open for the time being, okay? Now, close your hands up so now these become fists, all right? Now, thinking about uh, what Mr. Tando went through in one of his videos, talking about hammer fists, this can be used in this way as well, okay? So what you're finding is that a lot of the stuff that we're covering within the Filipino martial arts and also with our Taekwondo and that, they're actually almost very much the same, okay? It's just the way that they're performed. So we start like this. I want you to take your top hand, the one's closest to your head, and I want you to strike out. So punch it out, bring it through to your shoulder. 
Okay, so it's one. Now the, the hand down here follows the same line as when you did it with the stick. It strikes out and comes round, and then this one goes out and then under. Now, you're not gonna be in self-defense like this, but this is purely to show you the drill, okay? So now you're on this side, so this hand goes first, it strikes out. So this could be a, could be a jab, it could be a hook, could be any one of those movements going across this way, okay? Or it might be that a punch is coming towards you, so you're actually parrying the movement, okay? Think of it on any way of those as you want, all right? So now we go one, then this one, two, and then three, and under, okay? So from shoulder to shoulder, as I said before, shoulder to shoulder, straight out, under. Then you get one, two, three, under. One, two, three, under. And then as you practice the movement more and more, you get used to it, okay? Now, what we could be doing, potentially, is a punch coming towards us, we could be parrying it. Doesn't matter if it's on the inside or the outside of the arm, doesn't matter, we've been through this, okay, in the uh, Harry Brush Strike Principle. But we go one to parry the shot, two to strike the arm, grab the wrist, and then the third one, of course, is our counter shot towards past the temple, okay? So we go parry, strike, strike, okay? And if we do it on this side, it'd be parry, strike, strike. So you can see it's very, very similar. Now, especially if I step back a little bit, okay, and actually step forward and do it, be one, two, three. Then back, one, two, three. So if you watch really carefully, you'll see that it's actually very similar to all the other drills we've done, okay? So, we've got part one, which is with the sticks, part two, without the sticks, okay? And uh, I want you to take those two movements, or those two drills, practice them, you know, you can do it as stick to stick, if your partner's got sticks as well, just be a bit careful, make sure you're not gonna you know, clash each other. And of course, if you're doing it with empty hands, you can practice it against a stick where your partner swings a strike towards you with their stick hand, okay, with an actual stick in their hand, and you parry their hand, grab the wrist, and strike towards the head, not actually hit, okay? But these are drills that we can do uh, in video for you at a later time. Okay, but take those two drills, let us know how you get on, and uh, like and share the video as always. Okay, stay tuned for more Filipino martial arts related content in coming weeks. All right, take care of yourselves, look after each other, and uh, happy training.